Hey there, Dominique. Behind me, you can see the Capitol building, our nation's Capitol building. And we spent a lot of time there today. One of the reasons we were there was to interview the junior senator from Texas, Senator Ted Cruz. Cruz, of course, was locked in a bitter battle with Donald Trump for the GOP nomination last year. But tonight, on the eve of the inauguration, he says he's ready to support our next president. Uh, changes in the air. You, you, you could feel it here in Washington. This time last year, Senator Ted Cruz was hoping to witness his own inauguration, but Friday it will be President-elect Donald Trump who will take the oath of office. Cruz says he is ready to support his once bitter rival. And I'm working very, very closely with President-elect Trump, with the entire cabinet, the entire administration, on bringing back jobs, on regulatory reform, lifting the burdens on small businesses. I sat down with Cruz in his office on Capitol Hill to discuss what he feels is the promise of the new administration. That includes legislation he says he's been calling for for years now on behalf of his Texas constituents. In addition to the pledge to repeal Obamacare, Cruz says congressional term limits are at the top of his list. It's capping senators at two terms, capping House members at three terms. And, you know, this is an idea that the American people overwhelmingly support. Cruz also has spent time this week visiting with constituents in town for the inauguration, including a group of students from Cinco Ranch High School in KDISD. When I asked, he would not say if he would consider a nomination to the Supreme Court a position he's been mentioned for. He did express appreciation for the discussion of the topic. It, it is flattering uh, and, and humbling to be discussed in that context. Uh, but I got to tell you, I love the job I have right now. And Senator Cruz says he's been very busy since Congress convened just earlier this month. And as we showed you, one of the reasons he's been busy this week is because of the number of Texans who are visiting town for the inauguration. We're going to introduce you to some of them coming up at 6 o'clock. For now, reporting live from our nation's capital, Keith Garvin, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Keith.